Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw my last video, we went over an auctioner and uh, it's a beautiful bike. I, I just love this thing and uh, I'm going to put some miles on that one definitely this year. Uh, now we're going to go back to work on the uh, Peugeot PX10. Uh, the reason I put that other video on is I'm stalling. I don't have the puller. I don't have the puller for this, uh, this crank set. It's a special uh, puller for, I believe, the TA and the uh, Stronglight crank. It's a 23.35 diameter puller. I don't own one. I never needed one. I checked out a couple of local bike shops, been around for years, they couldn't find theirs because they probably haven't, probably haven't used it in decades. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this bike, we're going to strip it down all but the crank because I'm still waiting on a puller and uh, figure out spoke length, work on the wheels, the hubs, do some polishing and get to work on this thing. First victim is the chain. It's got to go. Really? Bring out the big guns. So it looks like we are equipped with the Regina 5 speed. Actually feels pretty good, probably a little dry. And there's a mothball in there somewhere or something that it fell out. And uh, Normandy hubs. Now I was told these are the correct skewers, which are actually kind of cool, kind of vintage looking. And I'm gonna clean all those up and we're gonna repack those puppies. You guys also told me this is the wrong casing. We had to put the steel casing in there. Sounds like a plan. Now I had a bunch of people screaming, don't take this out of here and try to unbolt it. You gotta do it from the back. So I'm gonna take that advice and that's what I'm gonna do. All right, here's a five millimeter. Oh, oh, look at this. That thing was gonna fall right out. It wasn't even tight. Alright, oh, it's a, it's a separate bolt. You got this piece here. I'm not gonna take that apart. You got this piece here, it looks like it'll come off, but I'm not gonna do it because I think some spring is gonna go hog wild if I do that. So I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. But it's actually in pretty good shape. I was going to say it didn't have a lot of miles on it, however, pulleys are just caked with mud and grease, I should say. So yeah, success. Good catch. Get rid of some cables. Eight millimeter here. Let's get rid of this. All right, get these off. Shifters are interesting, look at this. Plastic covered, they're trying to make it look like it's, like it's stitched on. Kind of comical, but kind of cool. Loosen it up here. It's actually kind of loose already. Very unique front derailleur. Not for its day, but still pretty cool. Some of you are familiar with this derailleur. As the cable goes in and out, it's, oh, it's really stuck. Um, this plunger goes back and forth and moves the derailleur. We'll clean that up and get it working. So I'm waiting for the puller, and I just realized that I have indexed cranks. Indexed? You ever had, was that a thing back in the 70s? Or do I have mud in the bottom bracket? That's probably what it is. Guys, I just want to take a second in the middle of this video to thank you for watching and remind you to hit that like button, also the subscribe button if you haven't done it. And if you do me a favor, if you're part of any bike forums online, Google groups, that kind of thing, you know, forward the videos to, to there also. And if you know of any groups I should be joining, you let me know as well. Thanks so much for all your comments down below. I'm learning a lot from them. You guys have been a great help. Now, on to the regularly scheduled program. Thanks. Ah, we got this cute little pump peg. Gosh, I think it's been decades since I took one of these babies off. Let's get these cable guides off. These are kind of weird. They have a nut behind them. I hate that. 
Let's look at the condition of the paint under these things. I don't know. I'm gonna do a quick little rub. Let's see what, let's see what happens. All right, let's give it a touch with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Yeah, yep. Yep, it, it left some spots behind. It's actually light rust. No big deal. We'll cover it up with uh, cable guides. Another pump peg. I'm not sure if these are going on again. I think they might only because they're so apropos for the period. I just hate strapping things onto a frame when I don't have to do it. Let's get this front brake. No such thing as a nylock nut back then, was there? At least not on this bike. Time for the rear brake. These nuts are not that great, they're really thin. Yes, this top tube is a mess, but not in bad shape. We'll see what we can do with it. We'll do a before and after. All right, this is unique. You have a serrated edge here and you have a lock nut. So let's see if I can just get that lock nut off. We'll sacrifice my wrist to do it. Let's see. All right, it's 32 millimeter. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of a song and a he ya, it's off. Not uncommon back then. This is how you lock the headset in place. You got this serrated top, the adjustable race, and you have this washer that's keyed in that is serrated as well. And that's how you lock in your, uh, your headset adjustment. This is gonna be messy. The bottom bearings are gonna fall right to the ground. Ready? Oh no, oh, oh. Oh, there's one hit the ground. Look at that. They're sitting in a cup. I was wrong. I was wrong, look at that. I got lucky. I'm not quite used to this era. So for those of you who saw the little short video I did, how these, showing how these tires are just literally falling apart, I gotta do this over a garbage can. You ready? Let's put the valve at the bottom. Let's just peel it. Look at that, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yuck. And, uh, eh, doesn't feel awful, actually. They're obviously dry as a bone. Not only the, the tires, but the bearings. Just dry as could be. There's an adapter, I'm sure that grommet's dead. All right, tire number two. Look at that, look how easy they fall off. Now, I'll leave in the comments section below, you guys, that use sew-ups often. You know, as you can see, there was glue. There wasn't a lot. I mean, it's gone. And the tires just fell off. Leave in the comments section below what you think is going on, because, I mean, I've had old bikes where literally I was wrestling with the tires to get them off. What a riot. All right, it's time to take off these cranks. Now, I took off the um, 16 millimeter um, crank bolts off earlier, off camera. I had to borrow a wrench, actually, or not a wrench, but a, a thin wall 16 millimeter socket. Now, I've been trying to thread this in off camera. This is a puller, the correct puller. The thread's in on the non-drive side, but I'm having an issue on this side. And I'm going to go through all the typical tricks to try to clean this up. And I'm not seeing any defective threads. So I'm going to mess this up on camera just so you guys can make fun of me in the comments section below. So let's start off here. That's as far as she goes. Now the dust cap thread's in fine. Look at that. Nice and easy. A little, little bit tough here at the end. But as you can see, the puller goes in fine on this side. I mean, it's, it's rolling, man. What's wrong with this other side? I can't see any problems with the threads. 
a little bit of a little bit of clean streak. How about a little brush action there? Right? Think that's gonna do it? I don't. I sure as heck don't think it's gonna work. But let's give it a try. Even a puller. It's a brand new puller, but you know, just in case a little debris get on it. Go backwards to hear a click. There it is. Alright, that should work. Should work. But it's not. So let's see. We're gonna be gentle. 19 millimeters worth of adjustable wrench. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. I'm either pulling threads out or oh, it's getting tight again. Doesn't look crooked, guys. Something's up with this. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to look closely here. Let's see if I'm pulling any threads. Not yet. Look at that. Now guys, I didn't have much threaded in there, but the other side came off so easy that I thought I'd put a little pressure on it and it actually came off. I even tried a mallet, it wouldn't work. I think we got lucky. a proper wrench for this, but it's coming out, coming out easy. We're gonna find out why we have a index spinal bracket. We got loose balls, boys and girls, and it's dry as a stinking bone. I thought we had crud, crud in there. It's dry, just dry, dry, dry balls all over the floor. Put your jokes in there if you like. All right, there's your cups. Dry as a bone. Look at that. They don't look bad. Spindle has some leftover splooge on it. Doesn't taste bad. Look at this, this is nuts. We got a pile here. And a bare frame here. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take these cups off. I'm gonna clean them up. So the next video, we'll be taking care of all of that. Well guys, that's it for today. Uh, on the next video, what we're gonna do is we're we gonna overhaul that bottom bracket, clean up the frame and fork, uh, repack the hubs, the headset, the bottom bracket, that kind of stuff. Make it all look nice, clean, and uh, functional. I uh, already have them apart, and the hubs are in great shape. We just have to uh, shine them up and put them back together. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, forward these to any of your favorite forums that you're a part of. And also, if there's any forums that you really enjoy, please let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I'm not doing this for money. I don't monetize the channel. I just like to get out there and uh, share my passion with these for these bicycles. And man, the stuff I learned from you guys in the comments section, you all have been really gracious with me and uh, been gentle. Thank you. Uh, I'm not a know-it-all. I'm not a, uh, what's the term I heard? Uh, Madison Bike Swap. Someone called it a camping know-it-all. I love that term. Uh, that is not me. But at the same time, uh, I think I know enough to be dangerous. Uh, so I look forward to building some wheels with you and doing all kinds of fun things uh, moving forward. But please like and subscribe and uh, hit that little like button and that kind of thing because, uh, you know, it helps the channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next video.